All right, so what we're working on is a GM Dana 44 faster side drop high pinion axle. Uh, currently, the Yukon standard 4340 chromoly shafts that were in here, uh, we blew the U joint apart. So we have upgraded to RCVs, but there is some modification. It's got to be done to the knuckle before you can put it in. Um, so we're going to disassemble the rest of this, take the knuckle off, got to change the ball joints out, uh, and we're going to show you where you have to cut in order to get the RCV in. What you need is you need to be able to rotate the knuckle almost 90 degrees out in order to assemble the RCV inside the actual socket. So we'll take this apart to see when the knuckle's been disconnected. We can only open up to roughly 70 degrees here. We need as much as we can get out of it. So what we're going to do is we need, we've taken the stop bolt off right here and we need this little bit. So we're going to take the knuckle out and this casting mark right here, we're going to take a grinder. We're going to shave that casting mark all the way down, all the way down the edge. And then we're also going to take a little bit off the stop right here. You see the stop is the first interference point right there. So we're going to take a little bit off of here. And we're going to shave this casting all the way down. Okay, over here on the driver's side. Driver's side's already been installed. You can see right here, taking it off. We shave flat all the way down the side of the knuckle here. And they even took a little bit off the C here just to give us that extra room. What that allows us to do is this will roll all the way in and allow us to get the cup slid in there. Okay, so we have the knuckle off, ball joints are pressed out. What we're looking to take out for the RCV, this is a passenger side knuckle. So we're going to take a little bit out of the throat right here, the tie rod, just because of the flare. What that does, it allows for when the cups to push in, it has some room to move. And then we're going to take off everything in white, which is the casting line, and then the actual uh pressure tip for knocking off the ball joints it's that little flat spot where you hit with the hammer what we're going to do is if you can see this angle here we're going to take this line straight so it, it's even with the casting and take off that raised lip and then you see here you can see the rays the casting is the white line but you can see the raised portion of the knuckle now this doesn't structurally damage the knuckle many of people have done it before us and will after us so um, it's not real heavy concern. You're not taking a lot of material out. You're taking, you know, probably about less than a little less than a quarter of an inch, but you're going to shave from this point, which is about one inch from the recess for the ball joint is where you start. You can see the rays in the knuckle. You're going to take from here all the way up until you're in the belly here. And this is flat all the way across. Okay. So we've got our grinding done. You see, I'm taking out and flatten this section all the way across here, and then taking out our edge here. What this will allow you to do is this will allow you to open the knuckle 90 degrees, almost 90 degrees, to sit the RCV. Then we took a little bit in here just to get the throat down. So we'll press the ball joints in and test fit it and see how it works. All right, so we got the ball joints in, got the knuckle back on. Went ahead and test fit. What we're looking for is this clearance right here. You can see where we've ground off is just about touching the C. And that's what we want. And see, we've come in here. Here's the grind marks. We took down the notch here, flattened this all out here, and then we did a little bit on the C right here. These are three inch C's, so there's plenty of meat there. Even with the two and three quarters, there's plenty. You just take it's just a little hammer notch that's right here. Just knock that off and clean this area up in here. And that will allow you to get full open without taking too much material off. One more important thing is you have to grind the top of the lower ball joint flush with the nut once you install them. So get it tightened up, grind this flush, or the RCV will interfere. Okay. Now I've got that. We separate axles. RCVs aren't new for that one of these. So first step is going to take and have a seat to boot. 
the boot in there. Hold it around. Take your shaft. And push it on through. Once you're in, I'll make sure you're seated all the way. Roll your knuckle back open. Now it's the fun part. You gotta take the cup. You have to roll her in here like this. This is where you need all your clearances. Because this part sucks. This is a fight. Doesn't matter if they're brand new, used. God himself created them. Some people get these to go in right away. Other people. Use a little persuasion. And you just gotta get the splines lined up. Sideboard back here. Push on there. Almost there. There she goes. Now 
Now you still got to seat it. So take a little WD-40 and spray it just around the edge of the orange cup. What that will let you do is take your stub shift and push her in. There you go. Check to make sure she's engaged by rotating. Now the important part is, is once it's seated, you got to pull the orange cup back out of your seal. You got to do it carefully though, because you can rip it. RCV sells a really pretty tool. I don't have RCV money for a real pretty tool, so I just use prime art. Back in, good to go. Your RCV is installed. Now the last thing you do have to do is put the roll pin in, which it's got to find which angle works for you. Mine's going to be from the back, so. Show you there's a roll pin hole right there on the bottom. Comes with your kit, so. Once that's in, your RCV is installed. Alright, so what we're working on is a GM Dana 44 Passer side drop high pinion axle. Uh, currently, the Yukon standard 4340 chromoly shafts that were in here, uh, we blew the U joint apart. So, we have upgraded to RCVs, but there is some modification. It's got to be done to the knuckle before you can put it in. Um, so, we're going to disassemble the rest of this, take the knuckle off, got to change the ball joints out, uh, and we're going to show you where you have to cut in order to get the RCV in. What you need is you need to be able to rotate the knuckle almost 90 degrees out in order to assemble the RCV inside the actual socket. So we'll take this apart. 